Morning team, how you all doing? So we're here in Staffordshire in the middle of some woods uh, and we're doing a bushcraft course this weekend. It absolutely hammered it down last night, literally for the whole of the evening. So we were all in our tents or under our bashers. Uh, everyone got wet to some extent. I think I was the worst, my sleeping bag's now hanging up to dry. Uh, I need to make sure that that's dry ready for tonight. And it's one of the things about uh, making sure that you look after your kit because anyone can be cold and uncomfortable out in this sort of environment. Uh, so you really need to keep on top of your administration to make sure that uh, you can keep going. So we're here with an organisation called Survival School who are teaching me uh, the whole of my bushcraft instructors course uh, and then once that's been completed I'm able to use that with you guys so that we can do bushcraft team leading courses, uh, we can get together around the campfire like we are here uh, and we can talk about how we can improve our lives in various different ways. One of the great things about coming on courses like this is that you meet so many different people from different diverse backgrounds and you'll find that you've all got uh, common themes because you're all out in the woods together but there's also an opportunity to network as well and it's usually in the um, unusual places that you'll find the best contacts and the best opportunities to uh, do business together. Uh, one of the guys that I've met is uh, Steve who I'll introduce you to in a second um, and we, we identified that we both do very similar things and you'll find that a lot of the people that you meet in this type of environment um, they've got the right nature and they've got the right attitude uh, moving forward with business because we want to combine business um, with connecting back with nature and helping other people and that is so vital when you're going through the process of setting up your own business you want to follow your passion but as I've talked about with one of the money lessons once you've followed your passion and you're starting to crush it and you're making loads of money you then want to have an avenue that you can give back with that because it's all well and good you know buying a gold-plated Ferrari or having a fish tank that's floor to ceiling in length but it's not really going to give you happiness it's just a waste of money so instead if you were able to help homeless people in your local community or you were able to offer a course uh, for a discounted rate for those people that couldn't afford it that's a better way to uh, you know spend some of the abundance that you've created and so when you're moving through your business plan and you're deciding what you want to do as you follow your career path this is a key point what can you do to give back with the gifts that you've been given um, and so what we're going to do this weekend we're going to be covering axe proficiency now that's a real man course uh, we're going to get some big axes, so there's the real big axes called a maul, uh, there's the axe which you all know, and then also there's a smaller one which is called a hatchet. And each of these have got a different use uh, and different techniques uh, with them. But it's all about safety, it's all about making sure that you're using these tools in the correct environment and you have to be responsible. Whenever you're doing anything out in nature, whether it's uh, making a fire, whether it's uh, using trees, uh, to process into tools of some sort so that you can build a shelter so that you can build um, other implements that you're going to need in your day-to-day -day living you've got to be really safe because yes we're near um, civilization here however when you go out into the wilderness you're not going to be near a hospital uh, you're going to have to look after yourself you're not going to have that fresh source of water so you're going to have to provide that yourself and you're probably not going to have any food so you're going to need to provide that yourself and that's why these courses teach us all of this skill so that we can pass it on to you and the great idea with this is that we can do team building exercises with you um, out using bushcraft as the backdrop so we'll bring you out into an environment like this um, we'll get you learning some of the tools techniques and procedures that you can keep you safe in nature but you're going to find that you're going to bond together really well um, and you're going to be able to share your experiences with people who understand you, who get you um, and so as I said it's a really good opportunity to meet like-minded people, do some great networking and also just get back out into nature which is what we're all about. So Steve, have you got a quick set? Yeah, sure. So I'm going to bring Steve over now. Steve's got a great project um, and he's again really really got the nomad ethos and it's all about helping children so let's pass it over to you just give us a little brief intro to what you're doing. So three years ago a friend of mine Matt and me set up a community interest company to support young people right. in developing moving forward in life. Okay. So that was Peterborough Open Awards Centre but what we've done now is we've just had the diamond anniversary of the Duke of Edinburgh Award. Ah awesome and you, you know about the Duke of Edinburgh Award essentially it's an um, 
It's a skill set created in the UK, uh, sponsored by the royal family, sp specifically the Duke of Edinburgh, and it teaches kids all of the skills that we're learning today. Maybe not yeah. to the extent of actually using accents, but certainly setting them up on the path for that. And so we're putting in the children the skills that are going to take them forward as better, more rounded people. And this is what Steve's doing, you know, full time. So you've got to give it to him for that. I mean, this is what we need to see more people actually giving back in this same way. So yeah, so what we decided last year, Diamond Anniversary, we decided to set up our own charity, which is now the Neem Inspired Foundation. Neem Inspired, and I'll put a link to that at the bottom of the video, so you'll see that now. And that all came about when we went to the Duke of Edinburgh Award and said, look, we want to offer it to everyone. Those that can't access it through school, those that can't access it through <coughs> uniform organisations like Scouts and Cadets, yeah. those that basically just don't get that opportunity. Yeah, exactly. So this is the thing, it's um, exactly what we're saying, it's exactly ties in with the Nomad ethos, where we want to help people that potentially can't help themselves. And so you might find that certain um, courses or organisations are quite elitist, and so people like Steve are bringing that to the masses so that everyone has the same opportunities and it's uh, an equal playing field. So please have the opportunity to look at his uh, website. If you're in the area, Go down and say hi to Steve, he'd love to see you, he'd love to chat to you uh, and he'll be able to get some courses running for you in your schools and uh, you know any kids that you've got. So it might be that you've got a local scout organisation, it might be that you're a head teacher and you're looking for something for the kids to do. So get in touch and we'll make some uh, you know good stuff happen and we'll get the, uh, the kids involved and obviously it's all about connecting back with nature and if we can start at an early level, we're on it. So continue to like the channel. Uh, continue to subscribe, like and share these videos, we're growing this community, we're meeting people like Steve on a daily basis and you know it, we're just smashing it so it's all down to you, thank you very much.